Hello guys, welcome to the first part of V-Ray Studio Lighting Tutorial Series created by www.renderray.com In this tutorial series, we will work on the modernization of the studio, test render settings and HDRI, lighting setup, V-Ray physical cameras, V-Ray materials and we will fine-tune render settings to make a realistic and professional render. Before getting started, you need to go to www.renderray.com to download the 3D Max sample scene needed for this tutorial. Before going to the tutorial page, I would like to introduce you www.renderray.com. This community website is created for computer graphics and render artists. Here in this site, you can find lots of free 3D scenes and tutorials for V-Ray, Mantle Ray, Final Render, Brazil and stuff. And nearly every day they add more and more free 3D scenes and tutorials. To see those free scenes, for example, go to this V-Ray button. When I'm on it, it shows me the number of free 3D scenes rendered with V-Ray. Just click it. Now look at these scenes. They are all free with the textures and everything. Anyway, let's turn back to my tutorial. Click to the tutorial button for the sample scene. There we go. First of all, let's find the tutorial needed. Uh, here it is at the bottom. V-Ray Studio Lighting Tutorial Series Part 1. To watch the tutorial with high resolution, just click to view tutorial button. For downloading the sample scene, obviously you can click this sample scene button. Anyway, I already downloaded the file so let's get started. Open Render Ray Downloads V-Ray Studio Lighting Part 1 Start that you downloaded from www.renderray.com. In this scene, we have this bare model, which is the logo of renderray.com, and some geometrical objects on this plane surface. Anyway, in our perspective view, click and highlight the plane. Right click it and convert it into editable poly. Now we will extrude the edge. To do that, select the edge and shift move the edge. This will extrude the edge. Anyway, I will go to the right view to do this extrude operation more precisely. Now click the edge, shift move till something like uh, here and move it back just a little. And again extrude it uh, till uh, somewhere around here. For a little angle at the top, uh, rake through the little bit and move it to the front. Uh, I will do it right now. Okay. And there we go. For the top part, I want it a little longer than the bottom part. So I will extrude it a little longer. There we go. And to finish the first part of the modernization, uh, just uh, re extrude re the edge and move it to bottom. There we go. Okay, and here it is. Next step is to add a Turbo Smooth modifier. To do that, go to modifiers and select. Turbo smooth. There we go. Uh, to smooth a little more, uh, we will hire the iterations to something like three. Yeah, three is good. That's it. Now we have some nice smooth curves. Now I would like to give a depth to the studio. So I will add a shell modifier. Yeah, 
there it is. Okay, our modelization of the studio is finished. Now I can save this scene as render ray download, V-Ray Studio Lighting Part 1 finished. In the next step, I will show you how to assign and set up the rendering settings of V-Ray for fast and quality test renders. So see you for our next tutorial. Bye.